When I open this image from Upper Canada Village in Photoshop, it fits nicely on my desktop. But if I come up here to View and come down to Actual Pixels, the file is huge. Much bigger than my monitor. View. Fit on screen. So, what I'm going to do now to see just how big this is, is I'm going to go to Image and down to Image Size. And when this panel opens up, it tells me that I have a 60 megabyte file. It gives me the pixel dimensions, 5616 by 3744, whatever, that the file is 18.72 by 12.48, almost 13 by 19 inches at 300 pixels per inch. 300 is print resolution. Prints need very high resolution to keep the sharpness and the detail. Computer monitors use a resolution, screen resolution, of 72 dpi. So I can easily reduce 300 to 72 in this panel by highlighting 300 and making it 72. My resolution is now 72, but my image size, the pixel dimensions, have not changed. It's still a 60 megabyte file. I haven't reduced the file. I have just reordered the information in that file to a document size of 78 by 52 inches, which is a sign I need a bigger monitor. Now, I'm just going to go back to original conditions here, and instead of canceling and opening up, in, opening up image size again, I'm just going to hold down Option or Alt on a PC. Cancel turns to Reset, and I'm back. Holding down Option or Alt to change Cancel to Reset works in any panel with a Cancel button where you have to add information. What I'm going to do this time that's going to be different, I'm going to come down to Resample Image and click that. Now when I change the resolution from 300 to 72, this time the document size, the 13 by 19 give or take dimensions, has not changed. And now I'm at 72. And it's just a personal preference. I found that when I send email messages, I just like to use 16 inches on the long dimension. 16 by 10 at 72. And up here we can see our original file of 60 megabytes is now down to 2.5 megabytes. That's a considerably smaller file and we can actually see the pixel dimensions have become much smaller as well. So we now know we have a much smaller, a much reduced image file. And just before I get out of this, the other thing I make sure that I always have checked or available here by Cubic Sharper, best for reduction. There's a number of choices, best for reduction. And that just helps assure that the image is going to be that little bit sharper when made smaller. And I'll say OK. Obviously, something has changed. It's gone this small on the screen. And if I go view actual pixels, here I am. Originally, act actual pixels blew it high, wide, and handsome off the screen. Now it fits nicely on the screen. Now the important thing is to save as another file. Save as. Save as add SM for small. Add EM for email. Add whatever you want. Make sure you change the file name. If you do not change the file name and you just save that file and close it, all that information that you took away is gone forever and no amount of tears will get it back. And we save this smaller version as a JPEG file. When open in Photoshop it said it was a two and a half megabyte file and you'll find when saved to your drive and attached as an email attachment it's three quarters of a megabyte which makes it much friendlier for sending out on an email message.